Hello, welcome to this Overwatch Analyze video. Um, first off, I just want to say that I am by far an expert. I am bronze myself. I am mostly doing this for studying to get better, but if you enjoy this or like this, please let me know. I might continue to do more of these um, <clears throat> to help myself, but also maybe some others. But I am far from Jane or Stylosa. Uh, who can comment in great detail. The game I'm going to take a look at is a comp game, Bronze, of course. <clears throat> and I want to zoom in here to uh, the Reinhardt that was... Um, go ahead and Just get them out the gate here. Uh, on our team. Um, I'm going to pick on this Reinhardt a little bit. I think he made a lot of bad plays. And I'm just going to be honest. Um, he went toxic in chat. So... That earned him the spot of this first video and analyzing. I myself am the Junkrat in this video. Um, I consider myself more of a tank main and I love Reinhardt, which is why I am willing to comment on the Reinhardt play here. Um, but hey, let's all just use opportunities to get better. So here we go right at the gate. It's very standard. Uh, we see the team, and that is a good fire strike right there. Um, if you see, I'm um, just testing out my setup here. Um, we got almost 25% ult charge now off that first fire strike. Um, that was a really good play, even though I may make a lot of negative comments on this Reinhardt play later. Uh, I am going to call out the good when I see it. Let's run down team comp real fast before this engagement breaks out here. We, of course, have a Reinhardt. And our secondary tank is a D.Va. Um, this is good. Um, Reinhardt is big boy with one of these big shields. So he's main tank. Um, sets up on the point, establishes a presence. And then we have D.Va. So, you know, if they had... Well, they don't have a Widow, but let's say if they had a little Widow and she's up here. Um, you know, and she's one shot, one killing. Um, then D.Va can dive onto that, kill the Widow, um, get back to the team. So, we're, we're doing good tank-wise. Hero-wise, um, we have a Mercy and, uh, Baptiste. Perfectly fine there. Um, Baptiste can put out a lot of healing. Mercy would be what you would call a main or primary healer. Um, Baptiste can put out a lot of healing. Um, I don't know that I would go so far as to say as a main, but isn't as off heals as, say, a Zenyatta. Definitely doing a lot more than that. So, um, we're solid there. And then, for DPS on our team, um, we have a McCree and myself as Junkrat. Now, I'm going to tell you my logic for picking Junkrat. McCree, you know, maybe he might play McCree. McCree's not a bad pick. Um, it gives us hit scan. So, if there's any enemy Faros or anything like that, we are covered in that, so that's a good um, combo uh, to at least have one hit scan based DPS that can deal with something like a Farah. Um, the reason I'm on Junkrat here is um, they actually did. We've got a Reinhardt and we've got a Sigma. In other words, we have 2x barrier. In fact, um, Reinhardt has 2000, Sigma has 1500. That's 30. My numbers are bad. 35,000, 3,500 barrier points the enemy team can drop at us. Hence, right there, you can see them. Clear this out. Um, we see them right there. Um, doing a lot of barrier spam, catching people when I can catch them off, but also, um, it's, it's, it's a barrier meta, folks. Um, so you gotta be knowing that when you pick that. And McCree's gonna be at a disadvantage over here, uh, because of the barrier meta. So now, uh, what else are we looking at? They've got a soldier um, who has managed to get himself to half health. So he ate most of that fire strike and hasn't recovered. Um, they've got a Genji. Not a bad pick. Can focus our mercy. Um, Junkrat, uh, you know, 50-50. Um, uh, you know, depends. That's going to come down to skill. It's going to be a game of footsies. I'm not going to say one beats the other. It's going to be interesting. Um, McCree, I think, kind of counters the Genji. If McCree hangs out with our supports, he can totally shut down this Genji with the flashbang. 
Um, he would be a good counter there. Uh, what are they rocking for support? They got a Mora. Mora's just like Mercy. Main healer. Outputs a lot of healing. If played that way. But we're bronze, aren't we? So this might be the dreaded Moria DPS who's not going to be doing healing. Um, but if Amora chooses to balance, uh, she protect and she attack, well then, um, just check, check, check all the way on the Amora if, if we have Amora that's going to do both. Uh, and then finally we've got Brigitte. Haven't got a new opinion yet um, since the changes. She outputs a lot of healing, but she has lost a lot of sustainability herself. Um, so, I can't say that she's a main healer. She's kind of like a Lucio, except she needs combat happening to be doing her healing. So you wouldn't want her in main healer. I would say she's still probably off heals. Um, and it depends on how much your team groups up as to how effective um, and how much value you're going to get out of Brigitte. But stuns can also turn the tide, you know. Stunning a tank, um, stunning a Reinhardt, dropping the barrier. All right. Okay, let's get back into the play. Let's get back into the action. Right off the bat, we're going for this charge. Believe it or not, I'm fine with this charge. This is an okay charge. We're in the engagement. We've got the team at our back. We're close together. Our supports can heal us. In fact, Mercy, you can see right here, is still on us. So this is going to be an okay engagement. We've taken out their barrier, Reinhardt, shield. Allow our team to do a little work here. This is not a bad charge. Um, let's not go too deep and let's back out. Look at that. Get a kill. Got a double. Let's celebrate. We got that. Okay. Come up around the corner. It's cleanup time. Alright, so right here, what are we doing? What are we doing? This here is not necessary. Um, we established control of point. We just took two of their guys out. It is time to clean up. Um, we're not super situationally aware, so I'm going to um, back out with the camera here to show you that our DPS here, right, have lined up. Um, as, I, as I get my... Our DPS have lined up here, right, to spam down this choke all kinds of damage, right? So if the Reinhardt's standing back over here with the shield, we're set up to go. All you have to do here as Reinhardt right now is hold right mouse, okay? That's all you have to do. Backing up here, though, we lose our shield. Um, we're going to have to... The Sigma has a shield up here right now, so we... Now we're in the position where they're shielded, and, and we're not doing any damage. Whereas before, we could just walk over here, uh, do some damage behind our Reinhardt, um, and clean up, and clean up. We dropped two, right? It was a very good charge, but we don't have the follow-up here uh, that I felt like we should have had, and the team, honestly, was looking for. We got both the healers. They're out of the line of sight. They are behind this wall. Now, we do have a Genji over here, yes, but we have a D.Va. Um, now, you're not going to know that, so I'm not blaming the Reinhardt here. You're not going to see that, but um, there's a D.Va on the point. So, it's fine. It's fine. We could have pushed on, come around that corner, and if I'm going to, like, zoom all the way out here and talk map for a second, um, unlocking the control point, um, after that point, you can choose to play up here if you want. If the team wants to set up here, um, you can see sight lines and see if the team goes around for the back cap, okay? Uh, in which case, it's a very short run for you to go through the room and get to the point. Or, you know, if they come for the front, you have to fight off the point. You don't have to fight on the point, which is always a good thing. It's always a good thing once you've captured the point uh, not to do it. Well, let's get back into our man, the Reinhardt. See how life goes. Get back into Reinhardt view. Okay, we're on the point, and we're really doing nothing. Okay, we're riding in for another charge. I think you know where this is going on why this Reinhardt um, is getting picked on a little bit. Because um, we're going to be supercharge happy. Uh, and that leaves our team unprotected. Now, what's different about this charge from the last charge? Where's that Mercy Beam? Right? 
we, we don't have a support tied with us to do some damage, okay? Uh, maybe we're heads up enough to know that Junkrat is... I'm not adding myself, I'm just saying the Junkrat is behind us to do some damage from behind the tank, uh, like a good little DPS. Um, so this, this may be bad right here, um, if we can manage a pin. I'm okay with this charge if we hit this wall, okay? And we don't go in too deep, and then we block this room off. What I'm not okay with is if we charge through here, right? If we charge through here, we are really isolated from the team. It's going to be hard for any support to do anything and hard for us to get back out. Not only did we miss the tank, we went through the door. Now, this soldier's just having a bad day. This is just unlucky for this soldier. But let's pop out to a third-person camera real quick here. Take a look. We got a Brigitte right there. We got a Diva coming around the corner. Um, and we've got an enemy tank right there. We can absorb a ton of damage and put it out as well. Uh, Sigma a little strong in this meta. So, what happens? All right. We now charge to our death. Okay? We're feeding our brains out at this point. Um, this is why you don't want to overextend and charge uh, as much as you can. Um, our team doesn't even really have an option to get in here and Mercy res the Reinhardt. You're in too deep at this point. Um, so let's just see um, while Reinhardt. Uh, Makes his way back here. Let's just see how this unfolds. Um, point. Okay, the fight's developing here on the point. Let's jump into our man, Reinhardt. Okay, fight's out on the point. Uh, we do have control of it still. It's ticking in our favor. Um, not the worst thing. Okay, we looked over at the point. We see things are going off. All right, things are going off again. We just took a look at the point and all right, what are we doing? What are we doing? If we go back just a hair here and as we come out all right, what do we see in here? What do we see in here, right? We see a shield. So we know there's a tank over here, right? We know that's a tank right there somewhere because we see the shield. There's a diva. There's another character in blue there. Uh, we're the red team in the replay because that's just... Jeff, please fix. Please fix. I, I should always be team one in my own replays. Um, but we definitely see a fight breaking out here. Stuff's going on. You know what they need when the fight's breaking out? They need a tank. You've got all of this damage. All of this barrier and all of this ult charge. Okay? You are set to shut all that down in there. We're primed to go in there, make a big play, get a big hammer down. Because they're focused right now. They're focused on a back and forth fight. They've forgotten about you because it's bronze. Everybody forgets. People come back. They just think you're dead and dead forever. Um, but we're okay right now in the point. You can see again. Use your use tab to know that you've got a man down. Use the HUD up here to know that we've got four on the point, right? Okay. We're not doing that, are we? No. We're going to flank. Missed that fire strike. Now would be the time to go in, just ignore that um, Brigitte, and charge the tank from behind. That'd be a good play. That'd be okay. But instead, what are we doing? We're taking this fight with the Brigitte. Now, okay. You may think right now, um, as the Reinhardt player, that we did a good thing. But, it, remember, remember there was a four here? Remember there was a four here? Yeah, what happened? Okay. And now there's a four here. Right? Think of what that Urshadow could have done this health pool, what this shield could have done. Um, granted, yeah, you took out a healer. You did take out a healer. 
But all of them that are up on the point, and they're about to cap. And we're going to lose the point in this situation. Okay, we come in, they just capped, and we charged in, and, and we whiffed the charge. Not only did we charge in recklessly, we whiffed the charge, okay? There are everybody of their team on the point. None of our team is on the point. Um, but we're bronze. We're charging in. And you guys know what's coming next. I don't even have to call it out. You know what's coming next. Not only did we waste our all with none of our team around to capitalize. We, we only caught one person in the ult anyway. We, we just literally had to press Q because it filled, filled up, right? Had we just died here on the point, got back with our team and saved it, we could have used that ult to turn the fight. There's nothing that ult is going to accomplish here because none of our team are around to capitalize. We don't even finish off um, the one tank we caught. Nothing's going on. Our team is coming back. Um, but they don't have a main tank now. Okay, that's me going in for a rip tire. I got a soldier. Um, not my best rip tire, gonna be honest, you know? I would like to get a healer if I can. Okay, again. Again. Right? We just walked past this window. And we saw... Poor soldier get killed. Okay, we, we saw um, Baptiste, saw a healer get killed, right? That might be a good place to go in with the shield. We've got a support here, all right? That might be a good route to go in instead of flanking or trying to come in from the side. But not, not, not the worst, but you know, hey, there's clearly a fight going out there. Okay, I want to give you props for that. We back that up. There is still more we back that up too far, didn't we? Let's speed that up. Can we get there? Okay, we walk past this. So, I want to give you credit for trying to stop the Genji. But we really just charged him blind without even locked in a target, okay? So, these long-range Reinhardt charges, um, I don't think in general are very good, all right? If you charge in a long time to Reinhardt to get your target, the target has a long range to see you coming and step to either side, right? And you can sort of veer off to either side and it doesn't work. However, if you've got a target, you're right up here, and you charge. We got a very short window to react. Not only that, not only does a short charge work better in terms of being able to land your pins better, um, you don't leave your team behind, right? You don't leave whoever was back here leading the Reinhardt, and now you're surrounded uh, by enemy team once you've charged in too deep. Um, you're going to be closer to your team in general. So these are not the best charges. Um, that's, that's unfortunate. That was a good shot to try to correct for that and get that, uh, Genji. Um, okay, the Genji's down now. The Zarya is ulting. Um, alright. So we stayed in Zarya's face. We, we killed a soldier. We did kill a soldier. But we haven't been providing any shields. Okay? It feels good for us because we're like, hey, we're in the kill fever and all that. But our team, once again, down. Uh, their team is up. Um, let's go ahead and think about this for a second. What if, what if, when she started to ult, we play around this right here. Okay, geometry she could not go through. Okay, and while we're doing that, while we're playing around this barrier, Okay, with our team, hopefully, you know, behind us, like, hey, there I am, trying to do some DPSing, you know. Um, I honestly didn't know I, I was back there, I didn't plan this, I'm not trying to make myself look good. Um, 
while we were doing that, <clears throat> playing this barrier so that we're not getting hit by the beam, throwing out our barriers here uh, to limit the damage of the diva, that soldier, and the other. Uh, here. We can't stop the beam. The beam goes through everything. Um, but, you know, we can limit the ability on us. Um, also, another thought. Had we not charged, right? Had we not charged in um, as quick as we did, right? Let me. Um, I need a small backup. If you could do that, small rewind. I'm take it about here, okay? Had we not used our charge early, then. Okay, Benji's down. We would have had a prime charge target, right? Charging into the beam. You know, we hit it, we do, we don't, we don't. Would be a good play. We shut down an ultimate, okay? If we had it on cooldown, but we don't because we used it early. All right, let's get through this. We're clearly not taking this point. Um, they're back. <laughs> now. Okay. We just walked past, right? I'm gonna say our, our team was okay. Our team was good. Pretty much. I mean, we're bronze. We're all bronze, right? With no value judgment on skill level here. Uh, but, we were chilling, right, most of us, over here to group up. Weird that our Reinhardt just went the other way. Now we've gone in, with a charge. And her mercy's gonna revive us. So a lot went on there. Let's back this one up. Because I was sort of like annoyed that we didn't go to the side with our team. But we got with our team. So that's okay. That's okay. Alright. First of all, our diva has, has, has dropped the thing on the point. Um, it's shielded. We're not gonna get much out of it. Um, but hey, we got an ult on the point. We're making a we're making a stand to come back. Um, we charge, we pin a diva, not a high value pin target here. Um, it would be great if we hit the middle column, okay? It would be great if we hit the middle column. We have the mercy on us, but we don't. We missed it. We're in the back. Um, this is an okay or a shatter, but it wasn't planned, was it? Right? Like, you, you saw this literally the frame before it. Okay. As we charge in... Right? We don't see the players behind the D.Va right now. Okay? We're not aware of anybody behind it. We are simply earth-shattering D.Va. And happen to catch some others. And then we die to the D.Va bomb. We were so focused on D.Va up until this moment. And then we just ignored D.Va. Alright? We had more than enough barrier to shield that diva bomb, okay? More than enough. More than enough to have kept ourselves up. Um, there was a lot of damage done to everybody, but we didn't follow up on it. <clears throat> However, we got a lot of damage done, and I believe this may be a capturable point. We're going to get a res from the Mercy. Um, okay. So one thing, uh, on Reinhardt tech, um, as this kind of calms down, we take this point, just to let you know. Um, for, uh, just mechanics. You can swing your hammer. What are we doing? What are we doing? There's not even a target in front of us. 
We don't even have a target in front of us. We just charged. Okay? They're coming back to the point. Going in for it. Right there next to us. We know this. And we're just... We're, we're just throwing our lives away. Anyway, let's just watch this death play out. And then we'll... Um, there's, there's, there's no way... Um, we're in too deep. Uh, we charge too deep. So the hammer tech. You can cancel the hammer swing animation with a fire strike. So basically when half the hammer strike goes through and hits the enemy, you can immediately hit the fire strike and it'll start immediately. You don't have to wait for the hammer to swing to complete. And that way, um, you can, uh... Get a lot of burst damage in a close quarters fight. Um, so, their Sigma went big, had a good ult. We called in that. We called in for a group up the first time we decided we want to play with the group uh, in this game so far. And then we just lost half our health to a rock to the face. There was no reason for that. We have 2,000 points of barrier. Um, more Reinhardt tech. If you want to move the barrier, move quickly, um, you can bunny hop. So you pop your shield in air, you, you're on the ground, you jump and then pop the shield in air. You won't move slower until you hit the ground again, so you can kind of progress that way. But also we're sort of waiting for the team. But now we're going in, we have lost half of our health. Um, we probably feel like we're great because we're on fire. Um, but now we're in a real problem. We don't have a healer on us yet. Um, the Reaper's there. We go for another blind charge, but we were already at half health, so we can't even charge through the enemy team. Um, and first objective is lost. A score. One, zero. Now at this point, uh, this is what earned this Reinhardt the privilege of being my first uh, focus video. Uh, and I feel like if I do these, um, I don't know if I'll do overall stream. I would have to watch the game several times to do like top level play. So I'll probably just pick a character um, in a video to either highlight um, or for good or bad. I don't plan just do bad plays. Um, <clears throat> they were busy in chat blaming our Baptiste player, right? For that first round. At no point was Baptiste to blame for any of the Reinhardt's plays. Um, Baptiste was keeping the team alive. Um, if anything, Mercy was being overly kind and pocketing this Reinhardt, who should be dead a lot more if it wasn't for uh, the Mercy. Okay, so we're, we're playing back a little conservative. This is not a bad idea um, here to use cover. All right, going in for the another blind charge. We knew they were all there. All right, we're using our shield to get out and our mercy. We knew they were all there. That was not a charge uh, that we should have made. All right, we blocked the rock this time much better. Um, we swing a couple times. We fire striked. We fire striked into the defense matrix diva. The diva had the defense matrix up. We just whiffed that. There was no reason to do that. Also, we have a lot of barrier left. Can I can put that out? We have... A, half our barrier is still left. Um, we have all of our health left. We have this Mercy who is keeping us up. God bless her heart. Um, we have a McCree that would really like a blue rectangle in front of him right now. Okay? This back and forth game is making it really hard for your team to set up. When somebody says <clears throat> main tank, and they're saying like, hey, so-and-so is a main tank, right? What they mean is that tank marks the spot, establishes some kind of barrier, and now this is the center of action, in which everybody lines up behind, and they kind of force the enemy team to play into. You are the pivot point of the fight. If your main tank goes over here for a second, goes over here for a second, goes back over here for a second, goes back over here for a second, 
all of your teammates are losing the shield while they try to set up behind you, taking damage, getting kills, getting picked, um, and you're really not running your role as a tank. So remember that when you're playing a tank, any of the main tanks. This can be Sigma has a barrier. Um, Orisa definitely, her, her speed isn't even such she could jump back and forth. Reinhardt, the classic. Um, Winston can play a little bit in that role. He has a much weaker barrier, and that's not the best use of his barrier uh, to it. But this is really, you know, Orisa, Reinhardt, Sigma at this point um, in the meta to, to just anchor a point and just say, we're setting up the assault from this point. And then, and then, as the tank, you want to look for opportunities to put pressure on the enemy team to push them back. This action here, pushing it back, is what somebody means when they say creating space, right? Tanks create space. What they mean is they force the enemy team back into a corner and they allow the attacking team room to sort of spread out uh, and move more freely and line up the angles, get the sights that they need on the enemy team um, here. So that didn't have to necessarily be by marching forward. That's just the way Reinhardt would do it. I was talking about Winston earlier. Winston jumping in the back line, dropping his bubble, doing some little tickling with the Tesla cannon, causing these people to turn around to deal with him, and then he jumps back out. Um, that also creates space, because while he does that, he collapses the front line, giving a main tank a chance to take some forward space and the enemies a chance, or the uh, team to shoot some people in the back. All right, back into it. Oh, hey, look, another charge. That, we pinned, we did pin someone that time, but let's be honest, it was luck. And of course, we went in too deep again, um, and we died. Charging the entire cluster of the enemy team is not what you want to be doing. Catching somebody out of position and charging them into a short range is what you want to be doing. Okay. We just walked up. They just capped the point. Half our team is dead. What are we doing? Okay. Right? There's no one here behind us yet. No one. We're by ourselves. We need to fall back and regroup. We've lost a point. It's over. What are we going to do? All right, this is not regrouping. This is not regrouping. Okay, and maybe you see it. <clears throat> maybe you didn't because... Um, we're staring at a wall. Uh, but the Genji, and we have a wall site, right? But the Genjis are ready to flank over there. And the team is moving up now like they should. Because on this map, you take the point, right? Oh, I got to get used to my keys. You take the point, this right here is a good spot for a barrier. And a team to defend from that again is not fighting on the point. So they're going to want to take this spot. Um, it's bronze. Maybe not. You know, maybe they don't realize it or not. They're going to at least want to move up um, and take this spot, right? If they don't take um, the first, the very front, they at least can take that, right? Um, but they're going to be moving up. In any case, we know they're going to be moving up. We did not group up with our team. We, we stood here instead. And we got slammed by a Brigitte. We stared at the ceiling. Our Mercy is dead. Um, now our team's here. But unfortunately, we're down a healer. And we charged into all of them. Uh, Mora is trying her best to keep us all alive. McCree has a good play. Uh, Junkrat's got a good thing. Diva's dropping... And all in here. 
in our face, but we did shield it this time, so we learned a little bit. That, honestly, is a wasted ult um, on Sigma's part of the enemy team. Um, we got a pin. We need to get out. We need to get out. We need to get out. That was going in deep again. Um, we could have... Okay. In that situation, we could have gone for the same pin and play by holding up our barrier, walking forward, pushing them back. You can, as, as uh, Reinhardt, when you're holding the right mouse button down, you can actually hold the left mouse button down and look around, right? You can actually, uh, let's see if I can do it, um, get back into the game here. Um, you will actually have the ability to do just this in game with your shield up. So you would have been able to walk up and see, right, who was to the left and right and make a choice to pin. You know, and, and maybe um, play a little better. It's okay. We got back with the team, though. So, let's, let's run on. Back into first-person view. Okay. We, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit in. We just hit our ult. We just hit our ult. We have control. Our team is set up. Maybe it's a good time to save this ult in case they actually make it down the stairs. No. We immediately went in with the ult and we used it. Um, team invested ult uh, in this fight. We, we missed a pin. At least we didn't go too far out. Okay. Alright. We, we decided and it's okay. Right? Junkrat just had a double, McCree got a kill, we pinned. This is okay, this is cleanup. We're gonna take a one-on-one -on -one duel here. It's not really one-on-one -on -one duel, is it? Right? Because um, we've got Pocket Mercy uh, is, is helping carry us here. Um, but we gotta get it within melee range, right? Melee range, right? Melee. <clears throat> Fighting? Melee? 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 Um, melee range. To take down... Um, Honestly, Sigma can out DPS us. Sigma's very good at the DPSing, okay? Um, he doesn't have mobility, though. That's his downside. He's very, very slow. Uh, maybe because his feet are actually on the ground, he can't run very fast. So, what we need to do is close distance. What we don't need to do is what we just did. We're not hitting anything, not hitting anything, and we walked up to him without this big blue 2000 HP barrier that again, you can jump bounce. And Sigma's firing rate is so slow, you could just block it, drop it, block it, drop it, block it, drop it, right? Need a little pop, lock, and drop it action. We could have closed in on this Sigma and not eaten so much damage. Because while it may feel good that you're getting healed and or she's building her ult charge, so is Sigma. You're feeding, you're literally feeding team ult charge here by not using the barrier. I do remember this moment and I'm enjoying to highlight it because we continue to really not do much, get smacked in the face by rock. And then our team shows up um, and did a lot of killing and finished it off for him, even though he had the final fire strike. Do I have to say we charged in too deep again? I don't think so. I think everybody knows it at this point. We're in too deep. Our Moria, though, is is actually um, ulting and, and, and saving it. Um... Moria took out the soldier, okay? Soldier blasted me in the face with some rockets, but Moria actually shut down the soldier. When we heard, I've got you in my sights, think, rectangle. When we hear, nerf this, think, rectangle. When we hear, 
high noon, think, rectangle, right? Right? We're the tank with, again, this well-rested 2,000-point shield and now no health, right? Think of how much more health we could have right now if we've been using that more. <clears throat> Fortunately, uh, Moria did save us. We're good. This will heal you. How much enemy team is around us right now? Over our corpse. Alright, we're heading back in. Take a look at on the point with uh, Mercy View. It's not good. Um, Mercy pops an ult. Could have been a little sooner. Uh, but we're back in now. Uh, we're already out. <laughs> that was quick. I need a 10 second zoom. We did rush it. We did rush in. It is overtime. That's okay. We fire striped. But we, we got a Genji all over us. We're not going to stop anything the Genji is doing with a shield. Of all the times to be going ham with the hammer, that was it. That was your moment to drop the shield and go ham with the hammer. And we actually walked in with the shield. All our team needs, all our team needs is one win, one fight. We have 99%. We need one team fight. That means do not charge in here. Group up, right? When someone says group up and when it's time to group up, um, see that back there? That's where you group up. You group up at the spawn near the spawn, okay? You don't walk up next to the enemy fight to group up because they can come forward and start picking you off and start engaging the fight before you're ready. Okay? You want to group up back here. If the team want to move up to the choke, hey, they win the fight. They win the space. They get to do that. You're not going to stop it anyway. Grouping up needs to happen close to spawn. Of, of course, we're going to go in a little bit, but they didn't come forward. They didn't come forward, so we're not we're not suffering for it, okay? Alright. We're actually Reinharding. We're actually Reinharding. We're giving a, a solid point for my team to just walk in um, and just do that. Do not let the barrier break. Can't, can't stop the charges. Um, get on the sh Earth Shatter on the point. Earth Shatter on the point. Earth Shatter... Earth Shatter. We've got a really good Earth Shatter. We had so many we could have Earth Shattered. Every other time. This objective must be ours. Okay. Alright, that's okay. We just want to cap and get them off. Fighting up here now, taking the spot. Go for it. Hold that point. Hold that point. We want to keep them away. Stand there with the big blue shield and just let overtime expire. That's that's all we need to do. We're spending a lot of time walking backwards. We just need to look, right? Like we don't need to worry about that that uh, ball that's on the point. We we missed a pin again and um, sent us a little too deep. Um, but they're trickling in because they have to because it's it's overtime. Um, we wasted a lot of time in that end, turning around, walking back to the point, um, instead of just establishing that staircase and that doorway as our own. We should have set that up um, as Reinhardt space. They out of it. Anybody that comes into it is getting a hammer to the face. At this point, Reinhardt's blaming the DPS, uh, is what's going on in the chat. And, and why he won, like, hey, you know what? Maybe I should do this. Well, to be honest, I wanted to go back and rewatch this video because I just wanted to see what the Reinhardt was doing um, because I felt like he was out of position a lot. 
And it turned out he was out of position a lot more than I had thought from within the game. I didn't think it was this bad. Like this play right here. What are we doing? What are we doing? We, we, honestly, this here is even bad. Okay. I, I don't know if they're grouped um, or anything like that. But this pocketing Mercy, at some point, Mercy, you have to cut the bad people from your life. Uh, you have to let them learn on their own. They, they need to fail to start to learn because you're actually keeping this Reinhardt up a lot more into these crazy pursuits at the cost of the rest of the team. Okay? So the Reinhardt staying up and thinking that, hey, I'm not the problem here. And really, it's because you've got a wonderful, nice, pocketing Mercy um, who is going on crazy flanks with you instead of fighting with the team. Okay, this is actually turning out to be very bad because the Brigitte and their Junkrat also went on a flank. Brigitte, I'm not so sure that was a good idea for the Brigitte, okay? But she's not the primary healer of their team. That's the Mora, all right? Fortunately, we have a Mora and a Mercy at this point, so we have a primary healer up with the rest of the team. It's not that bad. Um, Junkrat, not a bad play. Not a bad, you know, going for a flank, get some cheeky shots from within cover. Um, you know, you don't need line of sight as Junkrat to kill things. Aiming is overrated. Okay. Brigitte's going in on us. We haven't fire strike. We haven't charged. Um, those... Okay, we did fire strike, but we missed it. Um, we charged, and we missed it. Um, uh, surprise, that's the first trap we walked into. Uh, yep, there's another one. Um, what we're doing right now. What we're doing right now, okay? What we're actually doing is this right here. Junkrat is going to have an early rip tire in this fight. Yeah, Mercy's getting up there too in our ult. Mercy, oh, I kind of covered it up, didn't I? Uh, Mercy's at 64%, same as the Junkrat, you know? So you may feel like it's an equal, uh, trade here. Um, but, mm, not really, because what, what use is Mercy's ult gonna be on one person? She's down here on a flank with you alone, right? See how this runs out. Okay, don't, good, good call. Hey, what's that? We are, we are getting hit from behind. Um, so we're going to spend more time in the tunnel. Unfortunate for the rodent, um, that he got hit like that. He almost got away from that strike. Um, but yeah, at that point, the entire team knew we're in tight little spot. And let's see, when did the mercy die? All right. You were just hanging back there with your shield, but there was no mercy. Do you, you know when the Mercy died? Were you paying attention? It should be easy. You have literally an indicator on your screen, um, even if you're not watching the kill feed, right? And let's go back. Let's pause this. It keeps advancing. Okay. So, um, Mercy's up. Mercy's up. All right, we're getting attacked from behind. Mercy's still up. We charge in. Look at all that damage Mercy's taking now, right? That's right here. Right? This is the center of our focus of our screen, right? This is the generally way that we're looking. It's right here. We don't even need to be watching um, kill feed. We can see. Mercy's in trouble. We're fine. We're fine. Look, it's a little hamster. It's not going to hurt us, okay? He's just a cute little hamster. He can tickle us in the back. We need to turn around and figure out what's causing um, our Mercy to take so much damage, right? Who's being so kind to pocket us? Okay, Mercy's dead at this point. So are we. Like, there's nothing we would have done. Um, at that point, we had Fire Strike and Charge were up. We could have gotten out of there. We could have attempted to charge across the point, get back to our team's side, um, get out of there, but they got 26% of the point, 
Uh, 28%. It's counting up pretty good now. Um, and, you know, uh, we, we gave that to them, right? We were down there going on a flank like we were Reaper feeding our brains out. Okay, setting up a little on the point. Um, Symmetra's a little annoying on this point. Uh, not gonna lie for this team. Uh, Mercy used her ult to try to keep everyone up. Um, but unfortunately, it just, it just was not enough. Um, and they clean up. Um, we need to group up. We need to group up at this point. That's not grouping up. We did save the Mora, though. Um. Okay, we got a D.Va. We've got two tanks in there. Now. Right here. I'm gonna say. This. I know we're not doing um, this player right here right now. Um, hold on. That's not the key I wanted. I wanted that. And right here. Three pluses, dude. And a check mark. Switching to the May. Switching to the May. Right? We're now countering the rodent. Um, we can offer more into the Brigitte. We can, we can do more with that. Like, um, I'm not going to go back in the video and figure out when we got off of McCree and went to May. But top call right there. I'm going to be honest. You probably help us win the game. You you probably are the the reason. Um, all other things being equal here, we're all bronze. Um, taking that, making that call, making that change, um, was was absolutely the right call. Props, props there. Big meat stick, big meat stick energy. I feel it. I'm here for you. Okay, we have an alt. Have an alt. We have a team. Let's see if we can use it. We can use that is we need to know what the point is, and then pick our target. What we don't want to do is alt with three sim lasers in our back. That would be my concern at this moment. Knowing where the lasers are before I use this alt, so that we're not ulting into Symmetra. We have a ton of barriers. Okay. Junkrat used his ult. Moria is using his ult. We are, by the annoying sound effect, I'm going to stop right now. We are capping that point. Right? The team, enemy team, Junkrat's tire is coming. Maze iced her off, but we know Brigitte's got her ult up. This might be a good situation to hold your ult. Because everybody's going ult-tastic right now. And we may not need it. We may have this point without it. We're down our Mora, but we'll see how it goes. Saving the ult to one you have it for the next push could be what keeps the point, right? We may not need it to take it. Consider, if in this situation, saving an ult. Absolutely the worst possible time you could have used that ult. Let's go back to the tail of the tape here and make sure that we didn't start that before um, we got thrown into the sky. Hello. I am capturing the objective. We very clearly proc that in response to getting that um ult turn upon us. What are we doing? What are we doing at this moment besides throwing away this ult? There's, there's just no other way to say it. We just threw away this ult that could have been a tide turner later. Do we, we catch anyone with it? No. No, we caught no one with it. Um... Okay. 
they got time to set up turrets. They now. This is where saving that all. Okay, we may not have lived, right? We may not have lived. We may not have been able to stop that. But at this point, you have to be aware of they have invested almost all of their ults, right? Looking at the uh, ult tape here, they have Moria, right? So that's that's it. We would have had a a Earth Shatter to do a take back of the point next round. We whiffed it in air. Okay? This is one of the things to think about when you use your ult. Don't oversave your ult. Look for opportunities. But also, sometimes, maybe saving it right now, if it's going crazy, hit tab, who's up, who's down, is it even worth it? All right. Point flips over. Getting back in. Our diva went in. It is now overtime, so it's time for everything. Got the... That is the luckiest pin in the history of Overwatch. Let's, let's, get, let's go back. This is, again, charging in too deep. We need Reinhardt on the point. It is overtime. Targeting a healer, not the worst idea. Okay? Focusing a healer, not the worst plan. Um, here. Right? Okay. We don't know where she whiffed to. Right? At this moment, we have no idea where she went. We don't see the fate, okay? Hit this and turn around and see if we can help our team, right? We have a fire strike we haven't used in a while. We have a 2,000 point barrier. We have all of our health. We have a big ass hammer. You can swing around on this point. It is overtime, right? We don't know where that Moria went. Charging here is not the answer. What if the Moria faded into the room? Right? What if that Moria went to the room? Now we're out of position, and Moria is free to continue damaging and healing her team on the point um, with that. This Moria ulted. I didn't even catch that. Okay? Watch, watch here, in the next frame, how she snapped to Reinhardt. I don't know if that's an artifact of, I wish I could frame by frame. Um, I, I really need a frame by frame, Blizzard. Let's see if I can catch that. Um. Let's see if we just catch this, huh? That's how far out she is. That's how far out she is using the ult. It's the luckiest pin in the history of Overwatch right here. But hey, that's just how it goes sometimes. That's just how it be. Good fire strike on getting back. Um, May sort of just assumed you were gone at this point. Um, but did bring down the wall, I think. I don't think that just expired. Um, she did let you back in, so that's a good... You know, sometimes you're gonna throw a bad May wall. You can just bring it back down. Just, you know, be willing to say sorry. Sorry, sorry. And bring that May down. What was that? What was that charge for? Now we have 10 seconds to wait on that charge pool. And we're not even going in and setting up over here. We we see this the teleporter. They could they could they could teleport to that point. <clears throat> um, I don't know where the other one is at that, but we we do know there is one there. We should be over here right now doing a square thing. Uh, big blue rectangle. We know we have a DPS over there already. We have May, um, who's firing shots down there. Um, getting a blizzard built at this point. Um, 
can be huge, right? I don't know. We're still only at 5%. I don't know if we can get it built by then. But we want to be over there. Not here. Not fire striking the wall, missing the standing steel turret. Okay, again. We've got a lot of shield we're not using for our team. We're hanging way back. Okay. I don't know that you need to worry about the, uh... Alright, we're okay. Um... Hey, props to me. Junkrat got, got, a, got a double. Um... So, that probably could have gone worse. That could have gone a lot worse. Also, Mercy has invested in alt. Um... In this play. Please do not earth shatter. There's no need for it right now. I would have liked that fire strike better if you at least even went for the turret instead of just another whiffed. Okay, long charge again. Plenty of time to get out of the way. We're now trapped in this tiny little room. Mercy is trying to save us. Mercy is trying to keep us alive. Bless her heart, she does. We've advanced up. But as we were coming out of that room, you know what would have been great? Earth shatter, all of that. Earth shatter, all of that. They're focused this direction. That means you can catch Brigitte from the side. That means his barrier is not facing you. Um, just shut down this annoying Symmetra, right? So much value. Still value if you use it now. Still not a bad time to use it now. But you could have used it and caught them all off guard. Alright. Sort of missed everyone. But... Okay. We went in. Too deep. We died again. We knew we back up. We knew that there was a what is replay system on the backup, huh? Takes a hot minute. Okay. So we're coming back out. We're, okay, we're, st we're here. We're fighting the diva. Mercy's keeping us alive, right? Okay. Waiting here in the corner is the play. Waiting here in the corner is the play. Hammer down. At this point, we can get the um, Sigma and we see the Mora in there. And we can move to the corner so that shield isn't even a factor. Even though it passed us. Okay? We fire strike. Now we see them all. Now we got so much blue on our screen. It'll we'll be red in the game. Fire strike, right? Okay. We got rocked in the face. We got a hammer down. We're dying. Um, because we, we walked too far out and took too much damage. Um, but we do know there's a Brigitte to the left of us. And there's a Symmetra to the right of us. Okay. I don't know if we're listening well enough to have heard the tire is loose. Um, but there's a tire loose, um, here in this moment. And the only thing we got was a tank, right? The hard, hard kill at this moment. Um, we need to back off. Charging's not the answer here. It wasn't the answer before. I don't know if it's too late to save it anyway. I don't know if we could have. Um, but we're, we're not going to get a pick. If anything, we need to turn to the Brigitte and charge her. Because it'll be a short charge, you might be able to pin her and catch her off guard. Although, we're likely dead before um, we can do anything. Alright, hopefully... They're going in with the Brigitte ult. We're down a Reinhardt. We're down May. We're down... Uh, there. But, our diva 
managed to go huge. In fact, since we were out of it, let's go check in real quick with um, Diva. There we are. We're on Diva. Let's go ahead and back up a bit. And while we were busy not earth shattering at a prime opportunity, let's see how Diva handled this. Doing the shielding, focus fire, built it. Unfortunate, unfortunate that we doubled uh, and we got taken out that way. Um, but it was a good play on the D.Va. Um, I don't know if it was luck or skill that stuck it up there. Where are we going? That was so far deep. That was so far deep. Um, at least we got the kill this time. My dude. My dude. My dude. This. This. We, we should have taken this out a long time ago. Okay? Somebody should have. It should not be up this long. But at this moment. This. And this. One player. Are far more important. Than this. Teleporter. You know what we have that we love to use? Charge. Right into that. Charge. Right into that. Catch the Junkrat or catch the Moria. Start shielding or hammering, you know, away after we get there. Um, our, both are ulting, I think. Both are ulting, yes. Um... Is our Moria ulting? No. No, it's just a lot of red on the screen. Um, but, um, that would have been a perfect time to charge. That would have been perfect. May Blizzard, rock the point. Um, we ended up winning it. Um, so, back up and leave it um, here on a, uh, on a screen. Um, how everything's going. So, alright. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, I don't know if I'll do more of these or not. This is kind of a test run of tech and, and seeing if I want to do it and enjoying it. Um, and if it's been helpful at all, let me know. Uh, and maybe I'll do some more of these in the future. Um, more, more bronze forever. Bronze life.